Hey everyone, this is Coach Travis. I'm here at my house and we're doing a couple videos and I just made a video on ball flight and what the ball does in relationship to what your club face angle is and your path is and that's going to determine some of the curvature and we're all determining this on based if you hit it in the center of the club face. So what happens if you don't hit it in the center of the club face? Well, it could help your golf ball stay online or it could hurt it go offline a lot more as well. And here's how you're gonna decode that. So, club face here, we all know the center of the contact, but what happens if you hit it on the toe? Actually, since the ball has a little weight, it can make it go open. But guess what happens to the golf ball? The golf ball flies or spins a little bit more left, so it has a little bit more left curve to it than right. So it could actually straighten out an open club face to make that ball curve or offset the right spin to it and it can make it start flying a little bit straighter as well. The next thing is the heel. So in the heel, you hit the heel, it actually closes the face just a little bit, but the ball actually spins to the right. So if you have too close of a face and you hit the heel and you're able to manage that heel hit, it actually doesn't spin as much to the left. It kind of offsets that spin. Kind of see where I'm going with this? Now, if you hit it on the low part or um, the leading edge here, then it makes that ball go lower and spin more. And if you hit it more towards the high spot here, it's gonna launch up in the air a lot higher and it's going to spin a lot less. So you'll get a lot more distance out of it than you would um, in the air from a lower shot, um, but it still might not go as far as uh, if you were to hit the center of the club face. So I want you to think about now that you know the ball can spin different directions from where the club face is angled at impact, just based off of where you hit the ball on the face, I want you to think, maybe does that help or hurt my golf ball curve less or curve more um, than I want it to? And here's how you can determine if you hit uh, one side or the other with your, uh, with your swing. The first thing, you put two tees in the ground and if you hit any one of those two tees um, on your swing when you hit a golf ball, well then you know you hit that towards the heel or to the toe. The next thing you can do is get some foot spray, spray your club face, and when you make contact, if it's off center, it's gonna let you know really quickly. And then the last thing is, if you've ever been fitted for golf clubs and you know that they use tape for that golf club, you can get you some tape um, and then that'll show you uh, if you hit the center, if you hit it high or low, uh, toe or heel. Um, and then you can also make adjustments on your lie angle to make that go more into the center uh, because that's gonna be able to control the, the uh, ball a lot better. Now, if you got any questions over this, this is a lot to kind of digest. Um, just shoot me over a little comment uh, and I'd be glad to respond. Um, otherwise, think about if your golf ball is uh, the impact location, is that helping or is that hurting maybe some of the spin that you get off of the ball? Um, and then I look forward to all your comments and, uh, and your questions off of that.